Morning. Well, I guess it's more like afternoon. It's after lunch. We are gonna go do some odd jobs today before we go to work tomorrow. We're gonna go work at the sale barn. So we're gonna go haul a little hay. Uh, I'm gonna bring back some of my rye bales. I got the moisture tester. And we're gonna test the bales to make sure that they are good and dry on the inside and meet requirements uh, for the feedlot. Cause I'm gonna, so I'm gonna contract some hay to the feedlot and they have a certain moisture requirement and they should all meet it, but I'm gonna bring the tester just to make sure. Got the three-point attachment on there. And guess what? You guys thought... Ow. You guys thought this tractor was no longer in existence. Go haul some hay. First things first, gonna need a strap so we can put a tie on the back. That'll work. I always put a tie on the back of the trailer and strap the tie down, and then that keeps the bells from rolling off the back. Then you don't have to strap it for a short distance. So now we'll go see if we can find a that's easy to get to without a bunch of wasps. <laughs> Parkour. Uh, I think I bruised a rib. Uh, this one looks good. So this is usually where the wasp will come and Get me. Stay. Ah. Perfect. We'll strap it down when we get there. Load some hay.
Okay, well we got them loaded. There's 14 bells on there. And then I grabbed one here on the front. So bringing back 15 bales. They'll probably take everything that tractor has to pull some of the hills on the way home. But let's check some moisture. Seventeen eight, seventeen one, seventeen twenty. Fifteen, sixteen. So most of these meet their moisture standards. They definitely meet mine. For me, myself, I try to get everything under 20, but I'll even take stuff under 25 as long as I'm gonna use it. But what would have been great is if this had one more day to dry before we bailed it. But the problem was, is we had a huge rainstorm coming. But that day we decided to just go ahead and bail it anyways, because they really had a lot of rain coming. And that night, the night that we bailed it, uh, it rained for two days straight, and we ended up getting six inches of rain here. So I'm glad we got it done, because then this never did get rained on. But it's not quite as dry as I was hoping. I was really hoping to be under 15 in a perfect world, but mother nature. Let's go trucking. Well, we made it. Will I do it again? No, probably not with this tractor. That was a pretty scary ride home. I stopped at the scale. I don't think these bales weigh much. I'm guessing around 1,300 pounds. So I got 15 bales, including the one on the front, the tractor and the trailer, which this tractor is not very heavy. It's a small tractor. It's only 100 horse. And it said that I weighed 38.5, so we're gonna weigh empty when we get done and see, but. It was a, uh, it's too much for this tractor. So I'm moving all my bales around. Pretty sure everybody that drives by is wondering what the heck I'm doing. And that's okay. The biggest reason is, is I'm trying to get a second driveway approved through the county. I don't think it's gonna get approved. They're saying, they're basically wanting me to Put a culvert in, which I don't agree with because this driveway doesn't have a culvert. This is uphill, everything drains that way, and they where I want to put it is over here, and they say that I need to put a culvert in because it's mandatory now. And that's gonna be like a 60 foot culvert, and it has to be at least 24 inches, which is unreal and then since it's going to a highway they want me to concrete the top of the driveway for the whole right of way which is going to be 30 foot long and 40 foot wide and it's going to have to be like six inches deep to withstand semis and like what the heck the reasoning is really simple. This driveway is way too small to get semis in and out of here, and I have to. So when it gets muddy, what I end up doing is having to back hay grinder trucks and semis in off of the highway 
But then we sit there and we block the highway and it just turns into a really bad deal. So I'm trying to get a driveway there so we can make a loop in here and they're just, they're fighting me. They just don't want another one on the highway because they think that it's gonna be a traffic hold up and this and that, but it's not. It's gonna be a less of a traffic hold up, but they just don't have a brain. Did I say that out loud? Sorry. So yeah, it's gonna be a real pain and I'm not spending all that money on concrete and a culvert for one driveway, so. I guess they're gonna have to get over it and I'm just gonna stop traffic when I have to get semis in here. Let's get these unloaded. back empty and it weighed 20,360 pounds empty which came out to 1,209 pounds of bale uh, it's a little less than what I was really hoping for like quite a bit less actually but that was the very first thing I did with my 568 baler so I did not have the tension up near high enough and I really didn't know enough about it to uh, mess with it that day. I ended up putting more tension on it later on uh, once I figured out exactly how to do it. So I wish I would have known that before, but oh well, a few extra bales. So heading back to the shop now, gonna unhook the trailer and fuel this thing up and get it ready to go. Cause Sunday we will be raking alfalfa that we cut in the last video and we'll be bailing it as well as rain is coming Sunday night. So that'll be on the next video. Check that out. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go work at the sale barn. I don't know if I can convince him to bring a camera in there or not. He probably wouldn't care, but we'll see. You might see a cow barn, sale barn sale from the working side of it. Or you'll just see me next Sunday, so. That's all I got for you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up.